Namaste and good afternoon. We are at the 16th session of the South Asian Online Literary Conference. This session will have interviews and conversations. First uh, are with us eminent writers from Nepal, Sri Roop Singh Bhandari ji and Sri Bhishma Upreti ji. I heartily welcome on behalf of uh, Sahitya Academy to both of the writers and request uh, Roop Singh ji to begin conversation with Bhishma Upreti ji. Uh, by that time, I hope uh, other writers also will join yeah. with Upreti ji and Roop Singh Bhandari ji. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, welcome to on board of um, this uh, South Asian online literary conference at uh, the 16th session, interviews and conversation. Uh, before starting this uh, wonderful conversation, I'd like to introduce myself very briefly. I am Rup Singh Bandari and I write poetry in Hindi, English and Nepali. And I love poetry so much, therefore, Today, uh, Vishma Pradi uh, yeah, chose me to interview with him. So first of all, I am so much thankful and grateful to Ajit Kaur, Madam, who have been tirelessly helping and nurturing and taking the whole South Asian uh, literary um, figures. So thank you so much, Ajit Madam, for continuously organizing uh, such a conference to really accelerate this literary sentiment, unity, harmony in the South Asia and the world. So now without further ado, uh, I'd like to first here introduce uh, today's uh, eminent poet and today's guest. He is none other than our eminent poet from Nepal, uh, Bhishma Gridi. Uh, first of all, I'll read his short bio. Uh, Bhishma Ubridi is a poet, essayist, novelist, and translator of, translator of high repute. His 21 books, including 10 poetry books, 10 essays, travels, and one novel, have been published. And beside this, his Nepali books have been translated into Sinhala, Hindi, English, Japanese, uh, Farsi, Serbian, Bangala, and Turkish and published and have been published. Uh, beside many of his works have been published in Korean, Slovenian, Cambodian, Russian, Malay, Tamil and Chinese languages. He has translated poems from South Asia countries to produce an anthology of South Asian poetry in Nepali. He's currently working on an anthology of war poems from the poets of war affected countries. He has represented Nepal in many international a literary conclaves in, in Asia and Europe, a gold medalist of National Poetry Festival organized by Nepal Academy. Mr. Upridi is a recipient of prestigious awards like Sat Literary Award, Gopal Prasad, Rimal Rashti Kabi Puruskar, Uttam Santi Puruskar, Yuva Borsa Moti Puruskar, Sankar Lamishan Youth Essay Award, and many more. Currently, he is a secretary of PEN Nepal, and they please separate up Pen International. So, without further ado, let us welcome on board uh, uh, Bismo Priti sir. Please give a big round of applause, first of all. Namaskar. So, uh, for, for giving, for introducing me in such a way. And I would also like uh, to thank uh, Saita Academy. And I'm also grateful to the, uh, to uh, Ajit ma'am and, and Foswal team for organizing such a very uh, big uh, and important event event uh, and, and letting us to, to take part 
of this very important event. Thank you. So thank you so much, sir. So now without further ado, we'll uh, um, uh, start our conversation. Today, uh, surely we'll talk about poetry. Yeah, I love poetry. And Bhishma Bhredi is already, no need to <laughs> explain more about him. He writes very beautiful poem. I am a really fan of his poetry. And actually he encouraged me to uh, come in poetry. Actually, I was just written, uh, writing in textbook somewhere and he truly encouraged me. I am I like his writing poetry. So, Sir, Bhishma Sir, Today, surely, I will. I, it, it will be tough time to uh, both of us uh, to regarding poetry. Yeah, we know that poetry is the diamond genre of literature. Yeah, since uh, long, if you if we was if we see poetry, you if you if you see all the scripture in this world have been published and revealed in the genre of poetry, even including one Upanishada also in poetry. So poetry has really power with truths and it has a good connection with um, truths. So poets are the truths get deeper, I feel. So first of all, a first question I want to ask, ask you, you are engaged in poetry for years. Your 10 anthologies of poems have been already published. Some of your anthologies are published in other languages, including English, Hindi, Japanese, Serbian, and Sinhala and Farsi. What is poetry for you? And when you look behind, what do you feel about this, sir? Thank you, Rup, sir, uh, for uh, your questions. Uh, actually, poetry is one of the best gifts of expression gifted from the God to human. Many people define poetry differently, so it has no universal definition. However, it is set up with uh, your uh, perception of to life, to nature, and to the God. How do you receive the emotions, and how do you manage it? How do you how how do you use how do you how to use the poetry in your in your uh, life? So I would like to remember the famous uh, Korean poet's uh, quote here. He once said, life is my poetry. Faith and life are the essence of poetry. My, uh, my belief uh, about poetry is that it enables me to, to, auth to authentically express how I live, how I regard things, both animate and inanimate, and how I feel. My convictions to my convictions uh, go to go even beyond these considerations, uh, and I believe fine poetry is the blessings of the God. I do not write poetry. Sometimes is there about someone to me who sometimes make me compelled to write poetry. The nature, the Almighty, someone. Otherwise, I would write poetry anytime I want. I can't do so. So when I get uh, when I get the blessings from from the unseen truth, I write poetry. And when I look behind to my creation, my poetry, I often mesmerized. Is this the one that I wrote? Is it is it is it the same one that I wrote? I feel very wonderful feelings. And I always grateful to, to God for his blessings. I am grateful to people too, who read my poems, like them and translate them into their own languages. That gives me wings to fly it, crossing the border and to meet the people living in different surroundings, different status, uh, different cultures and beliefs. Therefore, for me, poetry is a fine, finest medium to establish communication with God, with truth, with nature, and with the people. Rupji. Of course, yeah, very beautiful answers uh, we have. So um, uh, here I want to again uh, unfold uh, another question uh, relating with Sam. 
uh, answers. Uh, you have told that uh, poetry is uh, yes, in better from the unseen. Yeah, Luis Gluck also once said that uh, we are writing poetry by experience, a feeling, and uh, intellectuality we mix. But more than that, if we are uh, really dominated with another um, power, it means same that you angled there also. Uh, so, so what do you think uh, um, poetry, poetry uh, what do you think about poetry? Is uh, poetry, um, poetry is like uh, a spiritual, uh, what called uh, medicine to self or it can help to the society as well as short answers. Can you, sir? No, poetry, I already told you, it, it doesn't have a single definition. And sometimes yeah. the definition, the, the, the purpose of poetry creates yeah. its own yeah. definition. So mm. for me, poetry is a, is, a, is a medium of meditation. When I, oh. uh, you know, the, becomes full of some unnecessary things in mind, yeah. at that time, uh, sometimes I just do meditations. And sometimes I just do meditation, meditations with the help of poetry. I write poetry. I read yeah. poetry in a very, very calm and peaceful place. So poetry is a kind of a meditation for me. And, and it has a different use uh, uh, for different purposes. So, so for, for some people, poetry may be just a medium of entertainment. For some people, poetry may be a medium of, uh, you know, the gratefulness. Or for some people, uh, poetry may be a means of, of inspiration or means of just an expression. So it has a, it has a great use, it has a big use in society, uh, I think, yeah. And I'm sure that is why I'm with poetry yeah. for a long time. Yes, yeah, that's true, yeah. And uh, it's a good answer, yeah, actually. Yeah, true, yeah, poetry uh, springs from the society and belongs to society, no doubt. And uh, it, has, uh, it has a power uh, to really um, build uh, concepts and bring all the emotions, uh, not only the individuals. Sometimes uh, it gives uh, power to the society as well. Since uh, we can we can see now also uh, the poetry written in 500 years back, still we are quoting. But we read many novels and many things like spongy things, and we forget. Yeah, that's what this is the power. I think uh, yes, you true. You are true. And next, uh, another question that I will uh, ask, ask you now. You have written a poetry book about different aspects of Kathmandu. You are migrant to Kathmandu uh, from Eastern Nepal. Many poets and writers living in Kathmandu raised outside Kathmandu are not tolerant or humble with this city. Instead, you stand with different views. What inspired you to write your poetry book, Kathmandu? Uh, and Kathmandu and Bihon. How did you feel when you were writing poems for this kind of book? Uh, can you tell thank us you. about this? Okay, thank you, Rup Singh Ji, for these questions. Uh, long ago, I have written one essay addressing Kathmandu. Uh, in that essay, too, I, I, I am I'm grateful to Kathmandu. I came from a village you already uh, mentioned, for far away. Uh, from far away of Kathmandu. Kathmandu welcomed me heartily. Let me stay. I got my education. I got job. I got name and fame, both. I got family and home at Kathmandu. What I have already, uh, what I am uh, today, I got from this city. So it is different thing that some, some bad politicians uh, exploited Kathmandu they took everything rudely and still they are not satisfied. Kathmandu is a center of politics and the, and, and the politici, politics in Nepal always going in bad track. More corruption, exclusion, one language in priority, nepotism, endless politics and, and visionless development uh, have affected people's life badly. It is all due to politics. So, when people get angry with political system and leaders, they scold to Kathmandu. Rather than 
uh, getting angry with the politicians and leaders. They 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 go against to the Kathmandu. This Kathmandu didn't do uh, best for us, something like that. So I don't like to do this. If I rebuke to Kathmandu, I rebuke to thousands of innocent people in Kathmandu too. I rebuke to a very unique and rich culture and heritage of Kathmandu either. I can't be ungrateful to this beautiful and innocent city which gave me everything with without any, any good. I wanted to pay my gratefulness to this city, so I did throw poetry. And, and the second reason, why uh, did I write uh, the poems on Kathmandu? Uh, in this question, the second reason is, one day my Slovenian poet and journalist friend asked me, what will you show to your new generation, to your children, when these all old, old arts, values and cultural heritage will be fall down, will be, will be fallen down and, and, and will be dim, uh, diminished uh, from the scene. I am seeing that when, when your old artistic buildings is replaced uh, uh, by new uh, uh, one, so it will be it will be modern and like and not, and not not like the same. Every everything is like a very western. So if your own matter of pride in art, values, and culture will be demolished, what will remain with you as your identity? So when he asked me these questions, I was sucked uh, uh, at, the, uh, at that time, and I decided to visit into the core city of Kathmandu, observe the arts, cultural heritage, craftsmanship, and, and meet the people of various ages and talk with them, take photographs, write poetry to make a collection of poems like Live Museum. museum. And I did. He, he opened my eye, eyes, you know, and, and just, just two months uh, after the release of my dad book, big earthquake hit the Kathmandu and destroy many places, temples, heritage. I was sucked again. Many of those uh, uh, heritages, heritages, places, and arts were uh, uh, were kept set in my book. I took photograph uh, of those uh, those sites, those uh, beautiful scenes, and I, I composed poetry and I put together in my book. So see, uh, so. Uh, just after the release uh, of, of the book, everything were, you know, they displaced. And, and, and one day, in one evening, I received an email from one American lady. She wrote, I am a grandmother. Just after the badly earthquake hit your, uh, hit your town, I visited Kathmandu. I bought, I bought your book. When I came back to US, I read your book. How did you write these poems? Did you have any anticipation of disaster? She asked me, and you know, I was so amazed. Consciously, I didn't anticipate to be as a poet in some parts of my unconscious mind that may came. I don't know. That's the reason, sir. How wonderful. So yes, it is true that uh, human, we humans are truly interconnected with this nature. Sometimes we feel that we are the uh, one of, and then we misuse the, this uh, nature as our own desire to fulfill our own desires uh, unnecessarily. Yes, but truly we are a part of this earth and we are interconnected. And this uh, landscapes you are including in your the uh, poetry is really wonderful and relating with this landscape, relating with these uh, cities, uh, cultures, relating with this, all the natures, uh, you have um, truly um, arrested the originals, originality of, yeah, originality of nature and you have put beautifully in your poetry. So why don't we listen now, um, can listen one poem from your, from this book, so it will be very good. Well, how it relate with these things. So can we listen one uh, beautiful poem from? So I, I, haven't, uh, I haven't uh, that book with me right now. Any poetry, we can add, no problem, from the poet. <laughs> no, I, can, I, can, I, can, I can read out a 
very small point uh, here. No problem. Uh, yeah. if, if, if you want to, uh, uh, if, you, if you want me to read, this is the, the name of poem is those, the, the, the sea, the sea. Uh, I wrote this poem long ago. I, I mean, in, 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 in 2000, uh, the sea, not a mountain of solid rocks and soil, but of water, of waves, a mountain of longing and momentum, the sea. I, a mountain of solid rocks and soil, it's only you that I need. It's only you that I love. Oh, see, thank you. Beautiful, yeah. Uh, thank you so much. So let's return back our conversation again. So I will uh, uh, ask a uh, few more questions uh, here. It is said that poetry does not give you food, shelters, and clothes. It does not give you sufficient money for making life sophisticated. Then what is the use of poetry? Why people are to be with poetry? What do you think, sir? It's not uh, easy, but a very tricky question for me. I think, you know, the, uh, sometimes I need to be encountered with, with such types of uh, questions as a, as, a, as a poet. So poetry doesn't give you direct benefit in many cases. However, it has a great use you can perform any work properly if your mind is fresh and in a good condition. Poetry helps you to be a fresh-minded. Poetry encourages you to be a humble, to be a polite, and to be full of empathy. Poetry insists you to be a human being. Poetry insists you to express yourself without hurting the people. If you are with poetry, if you are in poetry, you are with truth or very close to the truth. Poetry connects hearts, minds, and helps to create peace and solidarity. You can see poetry for children, poetry for patients, poetry for doctors and nurses, poetry for peace and love, poetry against war, poetry with nature, Poetry for movement. Poetry can be used in various purposes, in various ways. In this complex world, poetry can be helpful to overcome such complexity. As I already told you, poetry is for me a medium of meditation, medium of uh, 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 reaching to the uh, people and, and God and to the nature. So, Indirectly, it has a great use for people to be motivated for their own job, what they are doing. Directly, you are right. Yeah, true. Yeah, I comprehend now. Yeah, what I understood is like our life, uh, working for our food, shelter, and uh, another thing is external, but uh, how we manage our life externally is the same way. A poetry is really helps us to rearrange our internal inner emotions, uh, inner uh, ups and downs. Yeah, that I understood. Yes. I think that you really yeah. want to say, yeah. To, to receive everything uh, or uh, uh, to make everything uh, complete, I thought to, to, to fulfill uh, everything uh, you are doing, to, you know, to make, uh, to make everything complete, to receive every complete result are the result in full uh, to satisfy, to be satisfied. You have to be very cautious and very uh, pleasant minded and peaceful minded. That is why you, know, you need to have a satisfaction with your job and that, that uh, poetry can give you. Uh, good. Yeah. We have to be. That's true. So, so uh, at the I end, know how, yeah. how much time uh, is left for us? If time so is, we have, is we have only a few. Sir, we can have five minutes more. Okay. As okay. our other writer friends uh, couldn't uh, join in as yet, five minutes we can. Have okay, more. so 
we can we can continue five more minutes then thank you thank you so much uh, thank you so much sir so last not the least uh, last questions uh, for vishma sir how is the present uh, landscape of nepalese contemporary poetry how can it uh, interact with the poetry written beyond the border of languages culture and geography how you compare those all things uh, in in a sense in one sense thank you thank you rup singh sir uh, it's it may be a long answer but i, I will try to comprehend uh, contemporary nepali poetry has a very strong foundation that was created by our previous generation of very talented senior poets we are standing on the foundation they made for us uh, with the economic technological and cultural globalization present nepali poetry has been expanded covering wider range of context contents and applying various style in in poetry uh, in poetry indigenous voices cultural voices from various local communities aspirations and dreams of youth women's voices for equality and and right can be read in hard in nepalese poetry at present they are they are coming in vocal nowadays so it has uh, in reached nepali poetry uh, contemporary contemporary poetry nepali poets too have started to stand in, in international forums festivals and conclaves of literature uh, and they have uh, international readers to readers writers and and publishers to hear them this is a strength of contemporary nepali poetry they are they are uh, uh, getting confidence to to uh, stand with the poets with the famous poets of international landscape however at the same time nepali poets from younger generation seem to have that they are they are they are in hurry they want to get fame and and money next day of they are starting uh, poetry writing i think this is due to the fast growing of technological development but they uh, and, and and also social media has affected the affected uh, the uh, contemporary poetry very very seriously because you know the the every every most of the youth are busy in a poetry with very light things uh, in in facebook with very light uh, things and poetry is a very serious matter of human being for society so uh, rup singh ji uh, if 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 i request you you are also a Vishnu ji, you you Please, need to uh, unmute to, yourself. Uh, I think you are on mute. May I request you to to write to read uh, your small poem? Uh, so I need to ask uh, the Sahitya Academy. <laughs> without uh, no, no. Uh, without <laughs> them, I can't. Thank you for the session. No, no, as a yeah, part Rup of Singh this. Yeah, Rupsingi, please recite one of your poems. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, thank it, you. As it, a part of this conversation. Ah uh, yeah, no problem. I I love to read also. So I, as you know that uh, I am from Himalayan nation, and then uh, we belongs to Himalaya, and without Himalaya, uh, we cannot survive here also. Many rivers flowing from there, nurturing the whole country. So I read a uh, one poem. Uh, uh, about Himalaya, very short poem. Mm, okay, so mm, okay. Bird uh, uh. left song. Bird left song. on the branches of leafless tree retains the dance of its own the breeze rustles the fallen leaves it seems their final performance before being swept away as the toothless grandma hung her world song sometime 
Sometimes the lonely house on the hill is merging more with jungle than humans. The world grandma is trying to prove every day by burning some firewood, singing the song of perseverance. That's as the spring revisit. Someday her own will come to visit. Her languages and dresses are being the jungle stop to communicate. But she is still converse with tree, birds and animals with her heart, a left tree, a left grandma on the hill. Namaste. Well, thank, thank you. you very much, Rup Singh Ji and Vishnu Preti Ji. Both of you so very creatively filled in the absence of our other writer friends who couldn't join, uh, unfortunately. Uh, and uh, Rup Singh Ji, thank you very much for putting up uh, so very fundamental questions, which certainly had so many dimensions, because your questions uh, were also related to our mundane, our workaday existence as well. Uh, and uh, uh, which your questions really unfurled uh, the poet in Bhishma Upreti Ji, uh, which uh, who holds that poetry is the finest medium to communicate with others. And uh, poetry for him is a sort of meditation. And uh, he also opined that uh, every poem has its own definition and it is the purpose of a poem which defines uh, itself, which were very wonderful and genuinely fresh insights into creative writing. Thanks for your answers and your insights into poetry writing, Bhishmuji. And thank you very much, Roop Singh for your uh, very creative questions to Bhishmuji. Thanks a lot. Well, this session ends here. Uh, I wish you both best for your writing in future. And thanks to Ajit Ma and Science Academy as well. This session ends here. Our next session uh, is the 17th session, which will begin right at two o'clock. Let us look forward. Uh, <clears throat> Rinjin, Rinjin from Bhutan will chair our next session. Let us look forward. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.